The A2 Mini Pro ISO is an amazing device that enables you to record multiple HDMI input streams from different cameras, stream those out, and record multicam footage in one go. Let me show you how you can connect multiple cameras in detail, record them in one click, and then export the footage, and edit your timeline in one go. So on this screen, I'm running detail, and I already set up a little demo project with three different scenes. So you see the front scene, which features the Sony camera that I have connected to my Mac, which is actually sharing the entire screen that I'm currently showing. And then there is a side angle, which is a Sony ZV-1 camera connected with a HDMI capture card. So this specific capture card is about 20 bucks. Uh, I really like these affordable ones because they have USB-C and HDMI. And so it takes HDMI input and output USB-C. And this goes into your MacBook and then your camera, anything that you connect over HDMI will show up as a camera on your system. So this is a really affordable way to connect almost any video source. So you can connect the game console, you can connect your camera. It's basically a really easy way to make anything show up as a camera. So the gold standard, I would say in terms of image quality is the Camlink. Um, this one is a little bit more expensive. This will cost you about hundred bucks. It has really good colors. Uh, but what I don't like about it, that it actually has USB-A out. So I don't have any USB-A ports on my Mac. So I always need to use a hub. But you can also use your iPhone. So in this particular case, let me actually add a different angle. So I connected my iPhone mini, which is hovering above my desk. It's connected over USB, so lightning to USB cable. And now I have a top view as well. So this is just an iPhone that I use as an additional angle to get a creative view of my desk. So we're recording all these different shots, which makes it super easy to edit this project after the fact. So let me rename this scene. I'm gonna call it iPhone. So now I have four different scenes set up. Now, whenever I hit record, I'm actually gonna record the entire scene drawer. So everything that you see on this screen will be recorded. So there is the front camera, there's the screen share, then there is a side angle with the Sony camera through capture card, and then there's the iPhone screen from above. So each time that I switch scenes, we're creating a new clip on the timeline. And that means that there is a little clip forming in this timeline. So let's say that I now want to go back and edit the entire timeline. So I go back in time and as you can see, I recorded every single scene in the scene drawer. And in this particular case, um, let me actually zoom in a little bit. So this is the actual timeline that I just recorded. So there is about 37 seconds of footage. And now I can actually replace the scene for this particular clip, for example, to the iPhone shot from above. And the first one, I'm gonna make the front camera and I'm gonna make a cut. So I'm using either my mouse and I say split clip or I will use the X on my keyboard. So I'm gonna make a cut over here. Now I'm gonna replace this scene with the side angle. And over here, I want to switch back to the front face, front to the front again. And I'll be using keyboard shortcut for that as well. So I'm gonna hit shift one to switch to the first scene. And this way I can easily edit this entire timeline. So you can easily edit your timeline in detail and then export the entire footage that you recorded uh, with this option on the right. There are three different export options, large, medium, small. So this way you can easily record your live stream or record multiple cameras in one go and then export the footage straight to your favorite platform. You can also export the individual clips if there's a highlight of this timeline that you want to share and you right click on a clip and you say export clip. And with this export, you can select again the quality settings uh, to easily share your footage uh, externally. Now, I can also understand that maybe you have your favorite editor and you want to edit your entire project somewhere else. So if you only want to use detail for recording, we actually give you access to the raw footage as well. So let me open the library. So I'm clicking the icon at the top right here. I open the library and in this library, you see all the different projects, snapshots and videos that you exported. So this is the single place where you find all the footage that you make with detail. And I'm clicking on the demo project, show source in finder. And this will open my finder in the detail package. So every detail project is a package and you can inspect the contents of that package as well. So in here, you'll find a few different files. So there is the project.data file. Please do not touch this. This is the timeline. So be careful when you open this detail file. If you make any edits to the contents, it might actually corrupt your detail file. You will no longer be able to, to edit the footage in the detail as a timeline project. 
But in here, you'll find the media folder. And in the media folder, you actually find all the different takes that you make. So whenever you hit record, we record the isolated recordings from your camera or video sources. So whether it's a screen share or a connected camera on your system, we record the incoming signal in really high quality. So what you see here are the different demo videos that I just showed. So each of these are actually video files. So all of these files also include the selected audio source, so you can easily preview them and edit them. Now, if you take this footage, each of these files actually are fully in sync as well. So they all have the same start time. So you can import these files into your favorite editor like Adobe Premiere, Final Cut, or DaVinci and start editing this footage as a multicam project in one go. You don't need to sync up any of these files because they all have the same start point. So another neat feature that we have is that you can stream directly to your favorite platform. In the top right, you see a streaming icon. So whenever you fill out the stream URL and the stream key, you can go live in one click to your favorite streaming platform like YouTube or Twitch. What you see on the screen will actually be streamed out. So you can stream out the live footage from your camera, but if you would be going back in time and replay the timeline, you can actually replay clips that you recorded previously. So you could prepare your stream in advance, hit play on your timeline, and whatever is visible on the screen will be streaming out live. You can do the very same with our virtual camera plugin. So we offer a virtual camera plugin that enables you to use the detail camera in any third party app on your Mac. So to sum it up, I really like this device, but I no longer need it. I can set up multiple scenes in detail, connect different video sources, set up screen shares, and can record everything in one click. This video, for example, was recorded in the very same way. I set up different screen shares, different camera angles, I hit record, and then I can edit the footage after the fact in one single click. It makes it super simple to record multicam footage, to stream out different cameras, and to get really creative with different camera angles. Be sure to subscribe to our channel if you want to get more of these types of tips, if you want to learn more about how you can use detail to spice up your footage, and join our Discord community if you need any help to get set up. Looking forward to hearing from you.